Hey right guys, Trish Mr. Joe here, and today we are watching, we're not watching anything, um, we're going to be talking about Scam Season 1, Episode 1. Uh, I want to kind of do this every week where I'll go through the first episode this week, then Episode 2 of Season 1 uh, of every single Scam, and just kind of rank them from my least favourite to my favourite. Uh, I think it'd just be something fun to do, I know it's another Scam video that's going to be on the channel, but... Um, at the end of the day, I won't be doing this if you guys didn't enjoy the scam videos, if you didn't get the amount of support that they do. Uh, but they are the most successful um, videos on the channel by far, so it kind of says to me that that's, that's what you guys want. Um, I don't expect these to do like insanely well in views or anything, but I just, I don't know, I like comparing them anyway. And I do get a lot of questions like, did you prefer the first episode to scam, I don't know, France or Austin, as an example. Uh, so yeah, this way we can do that, kind of point out um, things that I liked about each one and what I didn't. They're not going to be reviews of the episode because I do that in the reaction. Um, it's going to be very brief. These, I'm pretty sure these are going to be fairly short videos. Uh, but it's just to give you guys a kind of idea of where I'm thinking of, uh, like, where my headspace is at certain episodes and stuff. I'll try and do this unedited as well with a few pictures here and there. Um, but yeah, Season 1, Episode 1 of Scam has always been an odd one. I Because... If you see my reactions to the original scam as well, you know I didn't really fall in love with the show. Uh, well, I started to like the show around episode 4 of season 1, and then I'd say it was around episode 6 where I started to fall in love with it a bit more, and then I was completely in love with it by the end of season 1, of course. But uh, yeah, it took me a few episodes to really get into it, so it's funny comparing the original episodes to scam to the remakes now because you know where it's going to be going, or at least, you know, around about where it's going to be going. Um, whereas when I first watched the first episodes, or the when I first watched the original, I had no clue what was going to happen. Um, that's the only really major difference. Well, there's a lot of differences, but I'd say that's the biggest difference going into Scam is with the remakes, you know where it's going to go uh, with certain characters and stuff. So yeah, we'll start with number five. Uh, my least favourite first pilot episode out of all the Scams will be the one we just had, which was Scam Austin. Uh, a lot of people are kind of dragging this down already, saying it's like, it's an awful remake, so bad, I can't believe they're doing this. <laughs> um, I wouldn't go that far. I think we've we've only had 30 minutes of footage, um, and it was definitely one of those episodes that warms you into the characters and lets you know, you know, who our, who our main cast is going to be and stuff like that. Uh, and I don't think we can really sit there and say it's going to be awful based on 30 minutes of footage alone. I think that's way way too little amount. Um, yeah, I do agree though that the the main character who I've forgotten the name of. Yeah, I've forgotten the name, but she is probably the least the least amount I've related to a main character uh, from the first episode at least. Not because I don't really relate to a character in the first episode. It's just she's the one that's you know I'm disconnected from the most out of all of them. Same with her relationship with the Jonas character. I just I don't know about that. I don't really like him that much keep in mind as well i'm going from how i felt from the first episode of every single episode not how i um would eventually get to like the end of season four obviously i love jonas and Ava. they're my two of my favorite characters for example but if i'm going from the first episode of season one did i love them as much as i do at the end obviously not so these two saying that these two could get a lot lot better like i could end up falling in love with them by the end of season four but as of right now um i don't see much chemistry there and i don't really there's not really a character from what we saw that I might... I could really love that character. Maybe Grace, I think her name was, which is the Nora character. I think she seemed like the best out of all of them. But we'll really wait and see. The fact that they've added two um, friends of Jonas as well. So we've got the Isaac character and then someone else as well. Uh, but the other one seems like they could get slightly annoying. Um, I think there's like two characters here that I just like... They could get a bit annoying. Whereas with the original or the um, remake, other remakes, there wasn't really a character that I looked at. I was like, oh, they're annoying, like straight away. Um, whereas here, there was two that was like, mm, <laughs> they could get a bit annoying, we'll see. Uh, so yeah, they are the weakest characters for sure. Um, so Scam Austin will be my fifth. Then number four will be Scam France. Uh, again, a lot of people just kind of shat all over this as soon as it was released. So I was like, it wasn't that bad. It was fine. Uh, I love Emma now, uh, like the Ava character, I think she's great, she's doing a much better job in season 2, but again it's one of those where I can agree with Emma was kind of a bit stale for the first, I would say the first season, and I don't know if that's because the Yarn or the Jonas character was very different to how Jonas was in the original, I think he's been one of the more different ones that we've had. Um, 
I don't know, he just didn't seem that in love with Emma to me. Like, he didn't seem, like, enamoured by her, if you like. Like, he didn't really want to hang out with her. At least, I don't know, there were just some scenes there. There were some scenes that worked, but the majority of them, I was just like, he doesn't seem that bothered about all this, to be honest. So, I think that, I think it goes into account as well that, um, going from Scam France and the original Scam, we had a lot more time with the original Jonas. Like, he had way more scenes, and the scenes that he were in were a lot longer. Uh, whereas here, whenever Jan was involved, he was in it for like two minutes and then he just kind of pieced out. <laughs> so I think that has something to do with, um, you know, the relationship between Emma and Jan. But just going from episode one, um, I didn't ship them both that much at all. There's not really any couples that I shipped really straight away from the first episode. But And the Isaac character, Lucas, even to this point, there's just nothing to him. Um, it's not to do with his acting, it's just they haven't given him any screen time at all. So yeah, number four was Scam Franz. And then number three, which might surprise you, was the original Scam. Uh, like I say, trying to be fair and just remember how I felt after the first episode. And with the original Scam, I was like, oh, that was fine. Yeah, cool, I'll watch episode two. Um, and we know how I felt about episode two of the original Scam. I liked it. I, I tried. This one's the hardest to remember how I felt about the episode, even though I do have reactions to it, but how I actually felt after watching it. Um, I think it's a bit like, Ava seems cool, but other than that, it, it, I liked the part. I liked the party scene in uh, the original one, and then I liked the conversation between Nora and Ava, which is my second favourite conversation, it's not the first one. Um, but yeah, I like, I like their interaction, and you have that little glimpse of Nora, and then she kind of pieces out as well. Uh, I think it was the more harsh one with the Chris character, like he just came across as a dick straight away to me. Whereas with the other ones, the Chris character kind of, you know, some some he was still a dick, but I think it was Scam Germany that did it the best where he actually came across as quite nice and friendly. Um, didn't like call or anything at the end of it, so, you know, that's ideal. So, yeah, the Ava character though was the original Scam. I pretty much liked her, I, w I didn't say, I wouldn't say I loved her straight away, but I did like her at least. Um, pretty much in the first couple of episodes, I'd say. So that was a strong part with Scam Norway, that they nailed the first introduction to Ava. At number two, we have Scam Germany with Druk. Uh, I, the reason I say this one is because the first episode is very, you know, heavy-handed on the Jonas and Ava relationship. Like, that's pretty much the whole first episode is getting you introduced to those two as characters. And I genuinely believe that the, the two characters from Scam Germany have the most amount of chemistry between the Jonas and Ava character or Hannah and I forgot his name, it's not Geo, that's Scamitalia, spoilers for which is number one. Um, but yeah, the Jonas character in this one, I think his name might just be Jonas actually. <laughs> it's so confusing. I will write down the names for the next uh, week I do this, I promise. But yeah, they, they like really seem in love, they seem genuine about it. Uh, they haven't really argued, um, but even where I'm at, at this point, there wasn't like some huge argument. Even when he cancelled on the party at the end of episode one, there wasn't like this huge, oh, you're a twine, even though there's not that anyway, but I just mean there wasn't some huge argument regarding it. Um, so I don't know that how that will work later into season one, but as of the first episode and even episode two, uh, it's just nice to have a couple of those, like those two that I genuinely seem like really in love. Um, the chemistry between the actors works for me at least. And ha uh, Hannah, Hannah, Emma, <laughs> Hannah is genuinely sweet, like I think she's one of the nicer Ava characters. Um, she's just friendly. I, I'm waiting for a bit more to a character. I like where they are at the moment, but hopefully we'll get a bit more. But for episode one, I think they did a great job with her character. And again, the party scene at the end um, pretty much nailed it. Not as well as uh, my number one favourite episode, first episode to Scam, which was Scam Italia. Uh, I think they pretty much nailed everything. I think that Ava, the best part of this episode was the interaction between Ava and Eleonora um, in the party. We got more into that in episode three, I want to say as well, but it just seemed like they, they clicked instantly. Like they were just, you know, best friends, um, more so in episode three, but even at the start there, you could be like, oh, I shipped those two. Like I genuinely shipped those two at the end of the episode because I was like, they're just so cute. So the Ava character was the best portrayed uh, in the first episode of Scam Italia, in my opinion, as well. She just came across as like she could stand up for herself, like she was in love with Gio, which you could tell, uh, or Giovanni. But also she wasn't going to take any shit from him, and not in like a kind of, okay, if you're being a bit harsh at this point, even though there's there's only minimal amount of those times throughout the show. Um, but she, she came across as like, you know, she'd lay her points down, 
and he'd kind of take them into account as well. He wasn't just arsy about it, and they just felt like they could actually have a conversation about something rather than putting it off, uh, at least for the first episode for me anyway. Uh, we got introduced to the builder pretty early on as well, who was okay. She wasn't, you know, she wasn't awful, and she still isn't. She's still great. I don't know. I just felt like the Ava and Eleonora, which are two of the main characters, if not the two main characters, um, had the most amount of chemistry in the first episode. Yeah, I like how Ava has both her parents as well, which is something we haven't had before. It's like they ever had the mom or they ever had the dad, but here they had, she had both her parents, which is cool to see. And I think it ended up giving like the first episode of Scavitalia an 8 out of 10, which I haven't done with the first episode. Because saying, saying all this while I am ranking them, uh, the episode ones of pretty much all the scams have never been outstanding. I do think Italia is the best out of all of them. Uh, but from there below, I'd say they're pretty much all good. I'd say Scam Austin was fairly, you know, I was liked and didn't like. I was most mid-ground with that one. And then I'd say uh, Scam France and the original Scam, I was like, you know, sixes, six out of ten for. Then the Duck for me was like... Uh, I'd say 7.5 out of 10. And then the first of Scam Italia was an 8 out of 10, just because estimate, I can't, I haven't got the exact ratings of what I gave them here, but yeah, that was pretty much what I remember giving them. So yeah, overall, I do think the first episode of Scams are fine. I don't think they're amazing. I actually found usually, typically the episode twos of Scam, uh, the Scam series weaker than the first episode because I just don't really gel well with that cabin episode. But saying that, we know what my number one <laughs> that will probably be for next week because, again, I just fell in love with that one. So, yeah, hopefully this video is okay. I know, like I say, they're not full reviews of the episodes because I don't want to just repeat what I've said in the reactions anyway. But I get a lot of questions about what I'd kind of which version of this episode I preferred. And there you go, that's just kind of my list. I don't know how sure this will be. Um, something else to pinpoint as well for Scam France was Daphne. Um, I think she just came across as instantly friendly. Um, she wasn't really bitchy about anything, so like she was more like um, you know speaking to Emma like she's part of the group, and I know Emma eventually left anyway, but it wasn't like okay you can piss off now. It was just like Daphne was actually kind of nice about it. So yeah, that's what I like about Scam France as well. Yeah, there we go, guys. Thanks for watching. I'd be interested in what you kind of rank the first episodes of all the scams below as well. So let me know in the comments, and I'll do another one of these next week if you guys want. If not, then we'll leave it at this one and just kind of, you know, never do it again. But yeah, until next time, thanks for watching. Peace.